this is just gonna be it's 8 34 kind of just gonna be like a random day in the life video i guess uh this is just one of those days where you know i'm running around doing everything i'm finishing up jobs that you know look a little bit dirty or they're a little bit messy or not completed totally i'm doing quotes um i think i have something else to do today uh, but first things first, I'm going to go to Home Depot, get a timer, probably stop at Dunkin' Donuts on the way, because uh, I'm having an issue with the timer at one of my Christmas light customers' houses, and I have to tape up some of the lights that are on their metal roof, because they're just not sticking. I got to get magnetic lights for next year. Uh, and then I have to go rinse off a couple walls at a gutter job that we clean that are a little... 30 and that's not even the customer saying it that was me saying it uh, wasn't good enough for me to accept so we're gonna go do that shortly and then i've got some quotes to do for christmas lights and uh, i also have some uh some what's it called uh, i also have some uh my man john my painter uh and then i also have some parts coming in to finish a couple Christmas light job, so we weren't able to finish some ground stakes and some mail plugs, so I'll go and do them today, probably. So, let's get on with it. Starting the day at 8.30. All right, Home Depot run complete. I'm at the Chick-fil-A. Got my timer. And this is the book I'm reading right now, Jocko Willink, Extreme Ownership. Pretty good so far, I'm only like 25 pages in or something, but I think that's like my 13th or 14th book I've read this year, so. That's pretty cool. Also, just ran a marathon. So, kind of a big year for me, accomplishment wise, and having a lot of fun. Uh, but yeah, I'll check in once I get to the first house. We're going to be taping up those lights and putting in that timer. Got the old timer off there, the new one's on there. That new one knows the time. So, hopefully, we can do a little bit better job for these people. It seems like they're kind of picky with when the lights go on and off, but that's okay. Also, we got here a light falling down. So, I'm going to hop up there and put electrical tape on probably every other one of those bulbs just so we don't have any issues. With any anything slipping down and I'll be wrapped up here all right all wrapped up there and then uh, I actually got a phone call as I was on that job and it was the neighbor of that house didn't even know I was at the house uh, but asked for a quote so I just went over and did it for her right there I took some pictures of the house told her I have to take some measurements on Google Earth and stuff because you know I don't have the uh, the iPad with me or the uh, measuring wheel with me so I'll go ahead and do that later on today but I want the main you know point of this video today kind of to be that business is inconsistent it's so inconsistent there's never a day that's like the other some days you're going to be the foreman some days you're the lead technician some days you're a laborer or an estimator some days you're the ceo the Pennsylvania 113 or the marketer you know Turn left uh, Road. no two days are really alike and that's kind of the beauty of it though you have to stick through it or stick with it you know ride the highs and fight through the lows, Continue fight through the valleys, one and, a half miles. and uh, you will be successful in business, I can almost guarantee it. Uh, but we're staying real busy with Christmas lights right now, this is an awesome time of year for me. This is the first time doing it, or first time doing it, you know, this is the first year doing it, I meant to say, and I think we might hit our goal of 50k. Uh, I've got like four more quotes to do today, but right now I'm off to Country Hawk and to spray a couple walls where we did some gutter cleaning. And uh, we'll be wrapped up with work work for the day. After that, it's just quotes. All right, I'm here where I have to rinse everything off. You can see this wall's real dirty. It's just that one and that one over there. Shouldn't take more than three minutes. Got the hose pulled. So I'll go start it up. Bring the gun back, rinse it off, and then get back in the truck and dip. We only got like 20 gallons of water. That should be enough. So let's get it going. All right, just wrapped that up. Didn't take me more than five minutes, 10 minutes. Uh, got everything rinsed off though, and it's a little stuff like that it makes a huge difference to your customers. Attention to detail, trust me, I see it every single day. People say it makes the biggest difference. And I just got another text for another Christmas light quote. Business is just absolutely booming right now, it's crazy. Christmas lights has been so good to me. So glad I did it this year. So I'll probably get him on the schedule for tomorrow because I got to go home, get changed right now, put together that, that first lady's quote from today. And then I'm off to four more. I think four quotes for today, or five maybe. I don't know, we'll see, but I'll check in later. All right, past the half, half hour or hour, so it was a little bit hectic, but about 30 minutes or 20 minutes away from this first estimate. Got changed and everything, got khakis on, got the nicer shirt on. Um, so I can go do these 
I think three or four estimates, whatever it is. Uh, also sent the other one out. Uh, hopefully that's a yes, but you yeah, had to switch trucks as well. So I'm just gonna go sell these jobs. I'll let you guys know how it goes. All right, all wrapped up with that first quote. That was a big one at a commercial property and it's a uh, total about five grand. I feel like I talked like an idiot while I was there, just like kept stuttering and stuff, but it's usually not as bad as you think, you know? Uh, customers don't really notice if you're not selling well because you're the only one who watches yourself sell every day. I'll show the total real quick. Uh, I don't know why. Oh yeah, they said they'll get me the deposit tomorrow. You never really have the job until you don't have the deposit though, and this one's $2,400. They said they'll make it as soon as they find out about these poles here. We're doing lights on all of the poles and she doesn't know if there's timers, you know, if those outlets are on timers or if I'll have to supply timers. So I'll have to charge her for, you know, supplying 12 timers. I'm not gonna include that in the price, but she'll let me know by tonight and then I'll collect the deposit and we'll get it installed within the next couple of weeks. All right, second quote sold two for two. That one was like thirteen sixty, I think, thirteen hundred dollars. And it's crazy. These Christmas light jobs are all so expensive that you know thirteen hundred dollars feels like zero. It's nuts. Like a thirteen hundred dollar power washing job is a good size job. Thirteen hundred dollar Christmas light job though, you're like, I know it's all right. It's just crazy. All right, so just leaving another quote. Sold that one. Um, and the first lady from today, the one who was a neighbor of somewhere I was already working, oh, that is a flattering lighting right there, uh, said that she's actually not going to go forward with it this year, which kind of sucks. I kind of did bump up my pricing a little bit for my $1 a foot uh, because we're getting so busy, and I think I'm going to continue to do that. I just did it for another house as well. Um, so, you know, hopefully we can stay busy at the dollar per foot that we're at right now. I'm not going to, I don't think I'll say it on video though just in case any competitors watch me and try to undercut me but yeah i'm gonna go grab lunch now just a quick sandwich and then i have one more quote to do today and i believe that is it for my work today so i'll check in after this one all right just uh maybe sold the last one i think he said he's gonna be let me know by tonight so we should be good i think uh but that's pretty much it for this video uh this is just one of those kind of i don't know crazy days where i'm doing a little bit of everything uh, answering the phone, selling the jobs, uh, you know, finishing up jobs that we did like a lot, like a week ago. So tomorrow's another one of those days. Maybe I'll record it, maybe I won't. But thanks for watching. Keep uh, keep watching, subscribe to watch me grow my business. I've been having fun with this YouTube, John, and it's grown pretty quick actually. So, uh, like I said earlier, you know, business is never consistent. You're always doing something different when you're. The owner of a small business, especially home service, you're always running around, probably spend a few thousand bucks on gas every month. Uh, so get ready for that if you're if you're not in business for yourself yet. But if you're not, definitely recommend it. Best decision I ever made. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Subscribe. We'll see ya.